All right, guys. Well, uh, just made it down here with the uh, the Bolins in the uh, the trailer here. There's the big Bolins, and then there's the trailer. Brought my little bag of uh, tools and tie downs and whatnot. Um, I think there's gonna be a lot less metal here than I thought because it's not a it's not a working junkyard anymore. It's kind of more of a shooting range than anything. But uh, so yeah, nobody nobody's well, I don't know, people might still drop stuff down here, but, you know, you're not supposed to. So it's all, it's kind of all closed down. But I'll show you, I'll show you a couple of the things that are, that are around here. There's a, there's an old car, a couple of old cars, and a boat. I'll give you a little grand tour, you know what I'm saying? So. Just, this is, I guess, the main drag that people used to uh, drive their cars and trucks down to come to the like the the weight station or something, you know, to to weigh how much metal they got or what they got, you know, and then they dump it with the bulldozer or take it off with the loader and then uh, crush it. Or but uh, here's the first thing here. It's a uh, pontoon. Pontoon boats. Uh, I think that says A Y A Y O or something. I don't know, but like as you can see, it's a it was an older one. I guess you would sit someplace up here and have two people paddling it. Yeah, that's still. And then you'd have like a cable running all the way back to that to the two pulleys or a belt. And then. Uh, Looks like there's the uh, the little rudder, uh, not the rudder. Yeah, I don't know. That's how you would s steer, I guess, to turn it. I don't know. A couple times, I I thought about it a couple times. I wanted to get it out of here and restore it, but I never really. I don't know what the heck that is. A brick. I wanted to take it out of here and restore it, but. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's a heavy, <laughs> it's, uh, it's heavy, so, I'll show you a couple more things, I mean, there's, mostly, the biggest thing out here is tires and beds, I've never seen so many beds in my life, oh yeah, look at this, look at this little, uh, little can, I don't know, it's a beer can, I don't know, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of different cans down here, and you know, sinks, refrigerators, toilets, you name it, it's down here, you know. I mean, I, I'm sure there's more stuff, but it's probably more buried underneath here than than anything. But uh, yeah, here's the old. Uh, I I can't determine what it is. So I don't know if you guys ever seen one, one of these wagons. I know it's a wagon. It's something. It's some sort of a wagon. What I, you know, just beat up. Well, the back part of it's not too bad, but most of it's beat up. I mean, the frames just rotten. Leaf springs are good, but there's the door handle and the window crank. I suspect that this that this thing probably got in an accident and that's how it ended up here. Oh, it's a Chevy, okay. Yeah, it's a Chevy, okay. So, I know, I mean, pretty beat up. It's sad. Nobody knew back then how much these cars were going to be worth and, yeah, really how much they were going to be worth, you know. Yeah, the old tire. Oh, well, there's some sort of a part over there. I'll try and get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, let's go around the other side and show you a couple of other things. Looks like uh, some people have been here before me and took some of the trim and chrome trim and stuff stuff that was still good off of it. There's some sort of a a truck bed. I don't know what what truck it goes to, but there's a truck bed. You know, 
I've, I've been down here a couple times before, and, uh, what I think happened was, is there was a camper, like a, you know, a truck camper, you know, how they put them on the beds, because there's, there's all this metal down here, and it looks like a, looks like it will go to a camper, so I thought maybe they couldn't get it off of the, the camper, or, you know, it was on the bed of the camper, or they put it on the bed of the camper, and they just says, take the whole thing, I don't know, you know. There's a truck bed and then there's a camper, so it had to do, it had to get here somehow, you know. Well, I don't know, maybe this was the bed, uh, not the bed, the door. But yeah, there's the truck bed. And then, uh, show you a little bit more of this. Yeah, there's some more, just a little bit of chrome trim on this side. You know, another wheel. But, you know, that's a, that's a better kind of view of it. I don't know. I mean, all just, all kinds of stuff in here. Like, you name it, it's in here, you know? I mean, like some bricks. Some bricks, what the heck? I don't know. Let's, uh... Oh, I don't know how to get to the front of it. <laughs> A lot of... Alright, we'll try going this way. Going around. Alright, there we go. Yeah, see, it probably got in an accident. And somebody hit the, the, the side of it. And they just took the engine out. Because it was probably still good. Took the engine out and junked the car. There's no engine. <laughs> so it had to get out of there somehow. I mean, like I've never, never seen this before. Yeah, I don't know. But it just kind of, it goes back a little ways and, uh... Well, I'll show you a little bit more of it while I'm here. But if you ever want me to, uh... If you ever want me to go farther... Farther back... I will. You know, I'm all... I'm doing it for you guys. Just remember that. So here we go. I don't know how much time I get left on my camera. But if I run out of time, I'll do a... Part two. You know, I actually got a couple things out of here. I got like a shoe and a little baby shoe and I mean, but as you can see there was this must have been some sort of a car. Cuz there's the the clutch it says and then it says there's a brake. Old car cuz there's metal pedals. Metal. Metal pedals. Can you believe that? It's a metal pedal. Well, most cars pedals are metal, but that looks like that was Factory, I don't know, but a uh, little tricycle, you know, missing a wheel. And then there's all these little glass bottles that are probably worth millions just sitting out here. And here I am, I know about them all, and I ain't taking any of them, you know. I have a couple things, but I don't want to get my house too cluttered with junk. But, you know, and then there's like these barrels and stuff that, then there's like a lamp and, you know refrigerator, old maybe heater, but uh, we'll check out this Ford truck, check this thing out, that's uh, maybe the, the bed of it, there's a little small bed and it's just torn to hell, it's frigged over, and then there's the door, I hear a little woodpecker. What the hell? The door and then, you know, the lights and the grill of it's all submerged. You know, and then just like I said, old bottles. Like neat bottles. You guys hear that? You probably can't, but 
You might be able to. Alright, um... But that's about it, you know, I... There's a couple batteries and junk out here, and that's that. So, uh, yeah, I'll get this uploaded for you guys, and, uh, remember, comment, rate, subscribe, and tell who you can, but, I mean, there's more, there's more junkyard around the neighborhood, too. This went on for miles. This is a big junkyard. So, hey, whatever. We'll do more of it another day. So, yeah. Let me know. Let me know what you think about it. And then, uh, I got a, I got a surprise for you guys. I got another surprise. I might be getting a, uh, I think it's a hot, no, it's a Polaris. Polaris four-wheeler. It's four-wheel drive. It's called the, uh, it's called the Scrambler. So, I'm going to go online and look it up. There's a guy in the neighborhood selling one for uh, 800 bucks. So, I don't know what you guys think about that price. Let me know if you think that's a good price to buy one of those at. I think it's a, it's a 2003 or 2001. I'm going to go talk to him later on. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you think that's a good price for a Polaris scrambler. It does need a, uh, it needs a uh, four-wheel drive. It needs, uh, needs another bar. Because, you know, like, see, if you look at this front end here, see, if you were to do a four-wheel drive, there would be, a like, a gearbox or whatever, and there'd be, you know, a, uh, a bar running from here to here. But then the other one on this side, he doesn't have it. It needs to go, it broke off or something happened to it, he lost it. So I need another one for here. He said that would be like 110 bucks or something. And then it has like a, it has a high and low in a reverse. But he, the, the linkage.